Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to my YouTube channel, Life Science with KMD. Today I'm going to explain about deciphering of genetic code and verbal hypothesis. Introduction. Central dogma of molecular biology describes these two processes, that is transcription and translation, by which the information in the gene flows to protein. The pathway of protein synthesis is called translation because the language of nucleotide sequence on the mRNA is translated into a language of an amino acid sequence. The process of uh, translation requires genetic code through which the information contained in nucleic acid is explained to produce a specific sequence of amino acid. Genetic code is a dictionary that corresponds with the sequence of nucleotide and sequence of amino acid. The word dictionary are in the form of codons. Each codon is a triplet of nucleotide. There are 64 codons in total and uh, 3 out of these are nonsense codons. 61 codons of 20 amino acid. Specificity of genetic code. Genetic code is specific. A specific codon always code for same amino acid. Like for example, UUU code for phenylalanine. It, uh, phenylalanine. it cannot code for any other amino acid. Universal. All living organism genetic code is the same. The exception of universality is found in mitochondrial codon where AUA code for methionine and UGA for tryptophan instead of isoleucine and termination codon respectively of cytoplasmic protein synthesis machinery. Uh, whereas uh, AG, AGA and uh, AGG code for uh, RG9 in cytoplasm but in mitochondria they are terminal codons. Redundant, also called degenerates. Although each codon code for a single amino acid, but a single amino acid have multiple codons. Except tryptophan and methionine, each amino acid have multiple codons. Non-overlapping and non-punctuated. All codons are independent structure of three bases. There is no overlapping codon is read from the fixed starting point as a continuation sequence of bases taken three at a time. The starting point is extremely important and it is called as reading frame. Nonsense codon. There are three codons out of 64 uh, genetic code which do not encode any amino acid. Termination or stop or nonsense codon. The stop codons are UAA, UGA and UAG. Degeneracy of genetic code. An amino acid can be coded for by coded for more than one codon. This is called as a degeneracy of genetic code. Verbal hypothesis. Crick postulate the verbal hypothesis to account for degeneracy of genetic code. According to this hypothesis, the first two bases of the codon pair according to the normal base pairing rule uh, with the last two base pair of the anticodon. The base pairing of the third position of a codon is called wobble pairing. Wobble hypothesis explains the degeneracy of a genetic code that is the existence of multiple codon for a single amino acid. Although there are 61 codon for amino acid, the number of tRNA is less far is far less, which is due to wobbling. Biological significance of degeneracy of genetic code. If the codon were not degenerate, 20 codon would designated amino acid and 44 would be the chain termination. The probability of mutation or mutating to chain termination would therefore be much higher with non-degenerate codon. Clinical significance of genetic code. Mutation can be well explained using genetic codes. They could be point mutation or frame shift mutation. 
in case of point mutation there are like uh, silent mutation miss sense mutation and non sense mutation that i'm going to explain explain in the next um, slides first we will know about frame shift mutation frame shift mutation is insertion or removal of a base can alter the reading of the frame with uh, the resultant incorporation of different amino acid that is called as frame shift mutation silent mutation here you can notice there is a change in single nucleotide that is a was changed to g the same amino acid is um, incorporated but the mutation goes unnoticed this type of mutation is called as silent mutation in case of miss sense mutation there will be a uh, replacement of a single nucleotide here it is a which led to a histidine whereas uh, this codon was replaced by a single nucleotide that is c so that gave rise to a incorrect amino acid which lead to the production of malfunctioning protein now this amino acid which is incorporated that can lead to the loss of functional capacity of the protein also so this type of mutation is called as miss uh, miss sense mutation next is non sense mutation here the replacement of a single nucleotide will lead to the incorrect sequence causing the shortening of protein because it will lead to a stop codon so these are the types of uh, mutation which was shown in the clinical significance of genetic code coming to the conclusion the actual process of protein synthesis linking together of amino acid in a specific sequence of polypeptide chain the genetic information exists in coded form called genetic code deciphering of cracking genetic code was milestone discovery of biology thanks for watching my video please subscribe to my channel by clicking on subscription button subscription doesn't cost you any money to get a notification click on a bell icon do like and share this video with friends and family if you have any kind of feedback do share it on a comment box thank you